Today we are having a look at how we can train like Kevin De Bruyne of Manchester City and Belgium. In my opinion, he is one of the best players in the world with an ability to have close control of the ball, fantastic passing range, and he can score lots of goals. So what we want to do to start off is just make sure we're getting some grip and some close touches on the ball, looking at a roll, a stop, and then a little outside touch, pushing the ball away from our body. As we do that on the right side, we're going to then just progress onto the left side. And we want to try and make sure that we're dropping our shoulder and changing direction quickly. Something that De Bruyne is fantastic at is his ability to keep close control of the ball. He can keep possession and he can move and change direction getting away from opponents. He is not panicked on the ball. So what we want to look at is adding in a little bit of a reverse step over here so that we can replicate changing direction quickly while keeping the ball under control. And as with all of our training, we want to make sure that we practice it on both feet. So we're swapping feet, we're changing, we're turning while also keeping that ball under close control. And another area that he's fantastic at is his passing. He made around 54 passes per game. And that's because he's got such a great first touch and ability to pass the ball over different distances and great awareness. So we're starting to add in the pass into the movement now. So we'll take a quick first touch, roll the ball across our body and perform the skill, allowing us to then move the ball onto our other foot to complete the pass. So this is shorter range passing, but as we progress, we're gonna start opening up and hitting a pass over a further distance. Bruyne has the ability to pass the ball over much further distances and different angles. So we're going to look at that quick driven pass, which has allowed him to get in positions where he can assist 20 goals in the last season. So what we're looking at here is driving through on the laces with our body weight forwards so that the ball comes back into us and we can take a good first touch. So we want to open up with a further distance pass. We started off with the smaller passes here. We're going to get back on the ball and try and change the direction of play with a quick driven laces pass into feet. As we go to receive, we want to make sure we're getting the awareness. When De Bruyne gets back on the ball, he's always aware of what's around him, allowing him to then potentially receive it on his back foot and turn. So we're looking for that driven pass, a little check of the shoulder, and then a good little pass back in off of the wall. We really want to focus now on developing a little bit of an end product, so a step over and a strike on goal. We want to make sure we're practicing on both feet because De Bruyne has scored 13 Premier League goals last season and what he's great at is collecting that ball on the edge of the area and driving through on his laces into the corners of the goal. His technique is absolutely fantastic so we're going to try and combine everything together here so that we can turn, make a driven pass and then as the ball bounces back, check our shoulder and move. Now I've taken my step over and driven that ball into the corner using my left foot, but we have to make sure that we practice it on both feet. De Bruyne has a great ability to use both feet when he's shooting. As we're shooting, let's aim to try and drive it in with the laces. But again, the first touch sets us up to push it slightly out of our feet to do that step over and then hit the ball into the corner of the goal. It's about getting the technique over the power. Once we have that technique, the power comes and we can start really hitting it with good speed into the corners of the goal, away from the goalies. Practice this, develop your speed as you play, focus on the technique of your passing and your finishing, and then we'll get to be able to try and strike the ball cleanly into the corners of the goal. 
Please feel free to like and subscribe. We've got lots of training online and the more touches that we can take on the ball, the better we're going to become as players. We'll see you next time.